Orion Pax here, and today I'm going to do just a little review on a couple of the Transformers Universe Legends line. And we have Wheelie and Cosmos. And I'm going to do Cosmos first. And basically, this is the figure. As you can see, he's not very big, but uh, he's pretty normal size for the Legends line, which is a smaller figure that runs around $5 each. Uh, you know, four dollars and change evens out to about five bucks. Uh, and let's do his transformation. So you start by bringing the arms up, back together like that. You bring the hips back and up like that. And now the fun part. I happen to get kind of a crappy Cosmos figure. Luck of the draw. This hip pops off all the time. It's just the ball joint doesn't fit securely enough and it's always popping off. I can still transform him and pose him and stand him up. It's just kind of that much harder with his hip always coming off. But you, the leg starts like that and you turn it over and then you just fold it in and it lines up. And there you go, you have a nice little UFO. And this little yellow fin is actually made out of a kind of a rubbery plastic, or a hard rubber, whatever. Uh, so it's not going to snap off, which I, I like. I think it's kind of neat. It's pretty cool, it just kind of hangs out right there. And then you just reverse it. Do the whole thing in reverse. I just the leg just comes off, so I just take it off and straighten it back out. And then, do the same for that one. Now, this joint here is kind of strange. It, like, pushes forward, and that is actually pushing the head up. And the leg came off again. And then you just separate the arms. There you go. Not a bad figure. Uh, I would be happier if I got, you know, one that wasn't kind of busted, but I still really like it. I think it's pretty nice. It's got some nice detailing on it. Um, the silver paint here is pretty cool. Uh, nice uh, Autobots logo right there. Good contrast with the yellow and, and red. Uh, the head is pretty good. Pretty good sculpt. And when the hips are forward like that and locked up, the head uh, doesn't move at all. So like it's not bobbing up and down. Um, the rest of the joints are good and tight. Uh, it's all ball joints on his arms, so while well, they really only have the one point of articulation there at the shoulder, but they turn all the way around and all that stuff, move in and out. Um, I guess he kind of has a knee joint for the transformation. Uh, the other hip is fine. Like I've never, it's never popped off. I don't know why. I just got one there that uh, wasn't made quite right or didn't come out of the mold as good or something. And then we have Little Wheelie. I really like this figure a lot. I think it's pretty neat. And for his transformation, all you do is you pull the hips down. There's a little tab there that locks into the upper body. You pull the upper body up. And then what I do, it doesn't really tell you to do this in the, on the back where the instructions is. It has you put the arms down first. But I go ahead and leave the arms up. And then you tuck his feet back in. And you roll the feet up forward, and then they kind of just fold up into there. Now the reason I don't do that, and then they the feet clip together, and the reason I don't put the arms down first is that there's like a little tab that these parts click together, and I think it's easier to put it together when the, they're not all the way up first. And you see he rolls and all that stuff, so that's pretty neat. And then we'll reverse it. Pull feet out. And we'll fold the body down and click that together. And then we roll the hips down. Oops. Bent his leg there. There you go. 
it's got some nice little details. Uh, I don't know if you can see right there. There's the little blue slingshot that really wields. Uh, it doesn't come off or anything. It's just painted on. But uh, it's got some nice little hand sculpts right there. And I really like his head sculpt. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of looks like he's wearing a weird little metal hat. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's about it. There's no, you know, hips move, or legs move at the hips, arms move at the shoulder, same, ball joints, so they can, they do have a decent range of motion. And then, like, uh, because of the, the angle joint for moving the arms up and down, you can, like, get him to do some weird poses and stuff with his arms over his head and things like that. But, uh, I like it. I think it's a pretty neat little figure for the $5 price tag. That's not bad. Alright, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching.